Yo, what's going on you guys? In this video, I'm gonna break down how you can easily mod Palworld step by step. I've had some of my friends tell me that they are having trouble modding this game, or that some mods cause some other mods to not work when they are installed together. So I've made this video to make the process as easy as possible. Essentially turning the whole process into drag and drop. Without wasting any time, let's get into it. First up, you'll want to go to nexusmods.com and create an account. It's free and shouldn't take you too long. Once you're done creating an account, you'll want to go to Games and select Palworld. If you've never been here before, the game is not going to be here. And you'll want to find it by going to View All and searching for it. Once here, add it to your favorites and you'll always find the game up here. Then we want to download some mods. We're going to use the Toggle HUD mod as an example. Head on over to Files, select Download, and then Slow Download, and your download should start. I would recommend creating a folder and downloading all your mods there. That way they're organized and you can keep track of which mods you're using. I've made a folder for mods on my desktop. Feel free to put yours wherever works best for you. Once you're done with the download, head back to the homepage and download any other mod that interests you. For this video, we're going to be installing these mods, which will be linked down below. But you can use the same method to install almost every other Palworld mod on the website. Now, this game does not have a dedicated modding software yet. Which makes sense considering it's less than a month old but I've set it up in such a way that all you'll have to do is drag and drop. There is a Google Drive link in the description for a pal.rar zip file. You want to download it like so, and then you're gonna have to find your game's local files. You can do this by going to Steam Library, right-click on the game, Manage, and Browse Local Files. You can close Steam afterwards. From there, you're gonna extract the pal.rar zip file, and just drag the file over to your game's local files. Now you're done with the setup part, and now you just have to drag and drop mods. We're going to go back to the website before installing mods, as you should always check a mod's description to confirm where they're supposed to go. I've already created the files, you'll just need to make sure they're going in the right place. Let's start with Always Fast Travel. It goes into binary slash Windows 64. Okay, so anything that goes here will go inside the mod folder. Open up Always Fast Travel and just drag it there or copy paste, whichever works for you. Now for basic minimap. This goes into the logic mods folder. So let's head back to PAL, then Content, Packs, and then Logic Mods. Same as the last one, drag and drop. We're gonna come back to these three in just a minute. Now for No Food Decay, let's check where this goes. Goes into Windows 64 Mods, let's go there and drop it. We don't need the pal.rar zip file anymore, so you can delete it. We're gonna come back to the FOV in a minute. Pause goes into Windows 64, so we'll just drop it there. Reset goes into Logic Mods, we'll drop it there. Toggle HUD goes into Windows 64, so we'll drop it there. Now let's go back to the three we left a minute ago. These are your PAL and Character Reskins. Same as before, we'll double check where these go. Goes into Content, Packs, Mods, so we'll just go drop it there. Luna goes into the same location, so we'll drop that here too. One key thing to remember when installing reskin mods is you don't want to use multiple reskins on the same character at the same time, as this will cause your game to crash. Lily and Luna here, for example, are both character reskins, so we only want to use one at a time. If you want to use Lily instead of Luna, you just need to delete the Luna pack file and drop the Lily pack file there instead. Let's move on to the last mod, Field of View. So for this one, you're going to need to go into Users, your username, App Data. If App Data does not show up for you, you're going to want to search File Explorer Options. Head to the View tab and select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Once you're in App Data, go to Local, then Pal, Saved, and then Saved Games. This user option.save is what you're looking for. Open up the fov.rar zip file and just drag over the user option.save file there and overwrite it. I'm using fov110 as an example, since that's the one I use for my gameplay. There is many other options on the website that you can use. Be sure to experiment and see which you like best. Now let's head in game to give all the mods a little showcase.
Now I'm going to cover how to uninstall mods if you've maybe installed some mods and then decided you don't like it. For FOV, you just go into Options, then Graphics, and drag it back from 110 or wherever it's at for you. The game will not let you increase it past 90 anymore though. So if you want an FOV that's higher than 90 again, you'll just have to repeat how we installed it. As for the other ones, you'll just have to go into your game's local folder again and delete them from there. Let's say for example I don't want reskins on my characters or pals. I'm just gonna go into Pal, Content, Packs, Mods, and delete them from there. Same applies to the other mods from Logic Mods and Windows 64 mods. I'll show you a few examples. That's all I have for you today. If you found the video helpful, drop a like so more people can find it. If you have any questions about any mods, drop a comment and I'll help you out. If you're interested in more Palworld content, drop a sub to stay tuned. Thank you for watching, hope I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers!